Hello everybody and welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at a really cool game in a really small box called Small Star Empires. So let's get down to the table and see what this box holds. Okay, so let's see what's in a box of small star empires. First of all, we have rule book in many different languages. Really, rules are just like five, six pages long and everything else is just in another language with the rules. So that's really nice. We get some pencil so, and some score sheet so we can see how many points each of us scored throughout the game. And then we have components for each player and in the components you get three different things you get these ships that will help you colonize the planets and you get these colonies so you can you know which systems did you colonize and you get these trading stations so you can score more points and that's that that's everything you get from the player components oh, where did it go oh doesn't matter and then what we have is the map, which is really modular map. Each player will get his own home system, as you can see. And you will have a bunch of these tiles, which are double-sided, so you can choose freely however you want to set it up. It's really up to you. And you will just, let's quickly set it up like so, just for an example. And you will have let's say red and yellow going at each other and what you do in this game is you will start with let's say two ships for example even though you will have more and yeah, the map is just set up just to show you how the game works and basically what you do you will move your ships in a straight line and you will put let's say he moved over here and he puts a colony over here now what happens is uh, you block each other ways when you play the game. So, for example, if I go with the red one and go like this, the yellow one cannot go over here because it is blocked by the red player. And so he must move over here or use this other ship to move here or maybe get this nebula because nebulas bring you lots of points. Oh, sorry. That's the yellow one. And basically you do that until each player has no moves left and uh, then you tally up the scores and who has the most points is the winner. Also you get a bunch of these single tiles in this game and these are put on these empty spaces because these are worth nothing basically. And when you put them, you put them face down and when the ship moves on them, you reveal them and you see what happens. For example, this one will score you some points and there's also these old planets and there are wormholes and some nebulas that count is the color you want or there's also an asteroid field that can damage your ship so then your ship is moved uh, put on a side and he can only move two spaces in a straight line and that's that that's everything that comes in the box of small star empires okay so that was small star empires by Arcona Games and I must uh, admit when when I see game in this small box I don't expect much from the game I really expect it to be really simple really easy just kids game basically and this game <laughs> really surprised me and uh, I mean surprised me in a good way now I like how this game works it, it has some uh, chess feel to it where everyone was just sitting around and, and thinking what would their next move be. You are moving your ships around and you are trying to block each other and get most nebulas in one color. Uh, that was the strategy I mostly went for. Uh, I was just looking how to grab more nebulas than anyone else and just try and block everyone if possible. There are also some cool expansions in it that you can play with it or don't. I recommend you play with it because it elevates game to a next level which I really like so you can play like just easy down version or you can put some uh, there are some blank or say empty systems on a map and you can just put these uh, tiny uh, systems that are randomly shuffled and put down so you don't know what it is until you search in there and see what it is 
So basically you can get uh, hurt by an asteroid shower so your ship gets damaged and now it has less movement. Or you can find some extra systems to colonize or some stations to help you score more points at the end of the game. Basically it gives you some variety in a game and I really like that. I really like when game does it. And all these tiles in the game are double sided so when you are creating your map you are really creating almost unique map each time because you can rotate and rotate them freely as you want. Now I like the replay value of this game. It's awesome. The gameplay fantastical. I really recommend this game. I liked it. It's quick, it's easy, it's fun to play. Definitely check it out. Small Star Empires. And until next time. Pozdrav.